What you just watched is the only footage anyone has ever captured of this door. If you were to boot up near Automata and walk over to this exact spot, you won't find anything. You can noclip, you can data mine, you can try hunting down some specific sequence of triggers, but you will never find this door or the area it hides. It all started on June 10th of this year, when a brand new account called SadFutago posts a question to r slash near fanart. He asks if anyone knows how to open the church in near Automata. He gets no response and moves on to r slash near Automata game, asking again how to open the church in near Automata. Now, don't worry fellow viewer, just like you I've never played near Automata, I just masturbated to it, so I took the time to verify for you that there simply is no church in the base game. This left fellow users puzzled as to what Sad Futago was talking about, and they pressed him for further answers. Sad Futago reveals that he's talking about a church in the copied city, an area that shouldn't have any enterable buildings. They ask for proof, and Sad Futago asks how he can provide it. At this point, you can probably tell from his frequent misspellings and general cluelessness that Sad Futago is either a non English user, not tech savvy, a literal child, or all three. And you might be wondering why nobody in the community picked up on that and tried to walk him through the process of providing evidence. But remember, viewer, Redditors aren't human and they lack basic empathy skills that come easily to you and me. So nobody thought to walk him through step by step. Instead, all Sad Futago is able to communicate is that he's only asking how to access this church area since his friend isn't able to enter the area. The first clue that something's up with Sad Futago's game. Four days later, Sad Futago posts some pictures of this church, presumably using his phone. He gets no response to this post and tries again on the 15th, this time the r slash near. This time people respond, asking him to take more pictures. What's his objective? What platform? In response, Sad Futago uploads a video on the 18th. The experts weigh in, Sad Futago is suboptimally pressing the dash button repeatedly instead of holding it, giving credence to the he's legit a child theory. This video further provokes the community into seriously investigating Sad Futago's claims. Users report their tests, no door. Immediately users suspect fraud. Could this be a mod? Famous developer Yoko Taro himself said there were no more secrets in the game after data miner Lance McDonald uncovered a piece of code that allowed a specific input to skip much of the game. But then, Yoko Taro is also a famous troll and woman appreciator. Redditors do what they do best, and they get this possible child onto a Discord server. He reveals that he made this video clip for someone on that server, but didn't want to record too much or else his mom would get mad at him for taking up too much storage space, presumably on the phone he was using. 17 minutes after posting this video, Sad Futago expresses his appreciation on this fan art of A2. He was never heard from again until July 24th, 2022, where he asked on his profile how he can reset his password since someone asked him a question and he couldn't reply. Presumably, he was talking about his Discord profile. He receives no reply, but our hero continues. That same day, these pictures are uploaded to Imgur, probably from Sad Futago's Discord communications. He posts several images of his game case, most of which are taken from the same angle of the cover. He's thorough, I'll give him that. On July 25th, he posts this video.
Immediately, this shit breaks everyone's minds. The modding community comes to a consensus. What is shown is so far beyond their current capabilities that if it were a mod, it would represent numerous breakthroughs all completed in isolation for trolling purposes. That is to say, the odds of this being a mod are extraordinarily slim. It cannot be replicated by the modding community's efforts alone. People began to seriously consider the possibility that this may be a genuine easter egg, and perhaps it was unlocked through some series of triggers that Sad Futago, through sheer dumb luck, unlocked. Basically, Sad Futago was that monkey that randomly typed out Hamlet. But then others looked even deeper. Futago means twin in Japanese. Sad twin. Sad twin? Sad twin. Could Sad Futago be Yoko Taro himself? Or did Yoko Taro throw in one specific version of this game with this hidden area into the production line for shits and giggles? Could all of this be a ploy, some kind of viral marketing strategy? People point out a very similar situation with MGS5, where somebody really did put in the effort to stage a fake using mods in Photoshop. Some suspect Sad Futago used Unreal Engine to mimic the game and produce this video, but that seems unlikely considering what was shown in this video. People put together the evidence Sad Futago has given, and they note this game is a standard PS4 1.0 copy and it hasn't been connected to Wi-Fi and thus never updated. What does this mean? Going through 1.0 PS4 copies didn't reveal anything, what's next? Give us a bow in the community cried, please Sad Futago. Soon after posting, this video goes viral. On July 26, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, Sad Futago posted yet another video. Whoa, what's that? Unknown. Uh, You're useless.
Wowee, cutscenes, apparently recycled voice lines, where does it all end? Is Yoko pulling a taro on us? Will Redditors ever evolve past the Paleolithic? Find out next time.